So hi, my name is Lee Shear, and I'm one of the community compost coordinators here at Prospect Heights Community Farm. And this is our compost setup. It works like this. Um, we just instituted kind of a new setup that makes it easier for us to measure the inputs. So we have a couple drop-off bins um, where during the week people can bring their food scraps and mix it with, um, with browns. And we get browns from two places. Uh, we get sawdust from a cabinet maker who doesn't use formaldehyde glues. You gotta be kind of careful of that. And then we mix it with shredded leaves. We have in the fall a, um, a leaf drop where uh, folks bring bags of leaves because they don't get connected, uh, collected by the city. And we shred them, so we mix them about half and half with the um, sawdust and uh, you come and we encourage folks to clip their, their scraps down to about two inches, um, two inch bits. And if it's not already, you can chop it up here into two inch bits and then add about just as much browns as you bring in food scraps. And we collect these over the week in this, in this bin right here. Um, and then weekly we have compost shifts, two hour compost shifts where we have two people come in and spend a couple of hours um, rotating the compost across the system. Um, and the first step for us, um, since we started this measuring system, we got a little grant from the Citizens Committee of New York City to start measuring our compost. And what we do is then measure everything that's in here on this scale right here. So we kind of pick it up, it's pretty heavy, a couple people pick it up and, and place it on this scale. Um, and you know we use this to stabilize. Um, we tear it out the receptacle, so that's in here already, along with this. And then plop the thing on top, lock the weight in, and then record the weight on this uh, binder here. Um, and people just uh, record their names, how much is diverted, any notes about the state of things. And we started this in July, and since then we've collected uh, 40, over 4,300 pounds of compost, or we've diverted 4,300 pounds of waste, let's say, here. Um, and then we also measure on the other end, which I'll show you the other end, and so far we've um, created almost 1,000 pounds of, of finished compost. So, um, on the compost shift, you'll weigh all this stuff and place it in bin number one. So this is the kind of first first place where uh, the compost will will decompose and you know start breaking down um, and then depending on what happened the week before uh, on your shift you'll rotate from bin one to bin two uh, bin two to bin three bin three to bin four so at the quickest in about four weeks um, the compost reaches here um, we try to keep it at uh, pretty high temperature so that it'll break down, uh, it'll kill seeds that would sprout um, and also just kind of become more sterile. And um, this right now is at about 100 degrees, 105 degrees, which is in a pretty good zone. Um, once the compost gets to the, the last bin, compost bin number four, um, we take that out and put it in the finishing pile where it'll sit for a week or two until it's ready to be sifted. And uh, then it comes here and we sift it through here, put any large chunks back into bin number one or bin number two, and then we have finished compost. Um, we'll weigh that as well and then store it in one of these two uh, bins we call munchers. And then the compost is available for our gardeners to use in their plots and um, that's about it we you know this grant also funded these brand new signs which have been super helpful and um, this is our uh, where we keep the shredded leaves there's almost none left and this is our um, this is just kind of our scrap pile that does some of it ends up into the compost We have a team of about 10 people and we rely on volunteer hours. Uh, every member in the garden is required to put in a few hours um, per season. 
Um, and so we've got plenty of work to do in the compost. And we accept food scraps from members, but also members of the community who come during open hours. That's, that's just these two bins, and these are just community folks um, bringing contributions. But we also get larger donations from the Park Slope Food Co-op. And there, uh, as a member, you're required to give about like almost three hours a month uh, as a shift to be a member. And so they have composting hauler shift um, where you bring buckets from the food co-op over here and put them right into the system. And the folks who volunteer to do that measure them, uh, weigh the compost before they put them in there. So we have these two bins going in, but also, you know, up to like 15 buckets from the food co-op, but they're like 10 gallon buckets um, that also come every week and we go throughout the winter. So, um, so yeah, and we, here we have about 50 uh, members, around 50 members of the garden. It fluctuates a bit.